Hi everybody, Ben here from Artless Ordinary. So, I am going to do a test run with my um, my combination pour, which is like half straight pour, half dirty pour, and also a pearl pour kind of combination. But what I want to do is, I want to see what the difference is, what different effects I get, or whether I get the same, by using Liquitex Basics, or my Montmart. So the only difference is the Liquitex Basics, I've got dark scene purple and this one here is purple. That is slightly darker um, in colouring and the dark scene purple is actually an opaque when this is a semi-transparent. So that's the only difference but that was the best colour I had to kind of show the difference between them. Um, the Liquitex was also slightly thicker, so I had to add a little bit more water to get the same consistency out of them both. That was one of the only, um, the other things I had to do differently. But this is a test and I really want to see whether using a more expensive paint, so here in Australia, um, this ends up costing me for... The same dollar value, I'm probably only getting three tubes of the Liquitex Basics, which is a 118 milliliters. So that will give me about just under 360 milliliters. So mils. When this one, I get two liters for the same price. So I'm trying to figure out which one, if it does give me much better results, paying that extra price or not. So... What I have done, um, I've got these little canvases which are um, 8 by 10 inches. I've mixed up my pearl paints and I've mixed up these. So the Liquitex Basics is 35 grams paint, 70 grams Floetrol and 22 grams water. The Montmartre is 35 grams paint, 70 grams Floetrol and 16 grams water so just a little bit more water added into that one just to bring them to roughly the same consistency it's hard to get everything perfect but um they're they look pretty good to me then i've got my extreme sheen arm um, colors i have silver amethyst aquamarine and sapphire now with them they were 10 grams paint and 10 grams flow troll except for the silver was much thicker so i had to add a little bit more flow troll and the aquamar aquamarine um i only had six grams left in the cut in the tube so it's six, six grams paint and six grams flow troll so they're virtually one to one, apart from the silver, I added more to make it the same consistency as the other one. So that's that. Now, I am going to just have to get a paper towel. So um, what I've done is I've painted the, the sides and the corners. Uh, they're not completely dry yet, but um, I'm not overly fussed. I just wanted something there to kind of help it along a little bit. So I am going to now pour about half of this cup onto the canvas and spread it out. And same with that one. So I'm going to do this on camera because... It's going to be a bit easier for me to do that. So that's roughly, maybe a little bit more. There we go. I'm just going to pour this on while I'm here. I think that's about the same left in the cups. So I'm trying to keep everything as as even as possible 
So you can see it's a little bit darker than that one. So I'm just going to spread this out. Not going to do anything overly perfect because it's more just giving the paint something to flow, th flow over. So I like trying to do some tests like this because it gives you the chance to see and me whether it's whether the effects I get are worth paying that extra money for the different paint. Because if I get a lot, lot more effects and the painting's a lot better, then I don't mind paying the extra money. Um, I do, I do quite like um, the Montmartre paint, but I thought this is a good way because uh, when when I watch videos, everyone else is in America and they use the Liquitex Basics. So I thought this gives me a chance to see what differences I am actually going to get. And these are all mixed with Australian Floetrol. And so when, when you do tests like this, sometimes it's worth doing it on a smaller canvas, just so you, you're not wasting lots of paint. Okay, I'm happy with that, that's good enough. I am going to give it a quick torch, just to make sure I've got the bubbles out. Oh. I'm gonna have to buy a new blowtorch. That one's just not working the way I normally have it. Okay, so just getting rid of my pop stick. Now, what color do I want to pour in first? Let's, oops. Sorry about my messy thing. I just wanted to use it a second time. So half of this is going to go in here. You want it to be a dirty pour. So pour it from up high and let it crash down. Then we're going to go some silver. Again, up high, let it crash down. Then aquamarine, just a bit of that. And then the sapphire. So that's about half, except for the silver needs just a tad more. There we go. So that's all in that cup. Nice and crashed down into it. Now we'll do the Liquitex Basics, and I'm going to do it the same order, so the Amethyst. The only difference is going to be that this is also going to get the scraping, so not all of it is completely crashed down into it. Then we'll go some of the silver, crash that down. I'll put the other silver on the top like I did again with the other one. Aquamarine, crash down.
sapphire. And then the last of the silver. All right, put those aside and there's that one. So they're both sitting in there. So now all I'm going to do is do part straight pour and part dirty pour. So I'm going to pour it up high, let it crash down onto the canvas and then kind of go up and down a little bit. Gives you some different effects. So. Where are we? Pour it that way. Apply it first. Let it crash down, bring it in. And then just let the last bit go. Just holding it, it looks like it's nearly, you want to stop it just before it starts to drip. There we go. Leave that while we do the next one. So up high, crash down. Nearly there. Okay, they're both doing their thing. Now we want to torch them. I feel like I've got too much paint, but I did measure it compared to my other canvases and I thought I had reduced it enough. So because you did a part dirty pour, there's a lot of bubbles, so you want to get those out. Now I'm going to chuck my gloves on and start doing some tilting. So they're both bringing up effects. I don't know if I'd say that one looks like it's got a bit more metallic showing in it for the moment, but we will see. Let's pop that little bubble. 
We'll see if that's just something that has happened um, by pouring it out or whether it's something that's going to continue to happen. So, whoops, I'm going to pick this one up. There's a lot of paint. I did measure it, right? I don't know why I've got a lot of paint still. So we have to go over the sides. So just going to go slowly and go over that corner and then come back. Lost a lot of that metallic. Over that corner, come back. Over that corner and come back, which didn't go fully over the corner, but that's okay. And last corner, over there, come back. I'm just going to get that corner bit a bit with what's on my finger. Double check the other corners. Now I'm going to move this around, sorry if you guys can't see, so I'm just tilting it this way, bringing it back, I'm trying to stretch out to see if I get anything come up from underneath, tilting it back again. So because it's got pearl, pearl paint in it, you've got to keep stretching it for it, for the pearls to show. They sometimes show on their own, but stretching actually will bring that up more. So I'm going to go side to side here, see if I can stretch it a bit that way. I'm going to tip a little bit more off. There's a bit too much paint. So I'm tipping it off this corner where I don't have a lot of effects or any pearls showing up yet. And then coming back. Hopefully taking a bit of that paint off is going to cause it to get some pearls come up. All right, well, for now, I'm just going to put that back down. See if anything happens. Looks like I got lost a lot of the pearl colour in there. Let's see if what happens with this one. So wiggling it around a bit, coming down to the corner. Part of me. I'm gonna go over that corner and come back. And then I'm going to go over the corner. See, a lot of it, I'm losing a lot of that metallic that's already on the canvas to get over that corner. That's what happened with that one. Bringing it down. Go over that corner, come back. I'm not used to working on such a smaller canvas when I do these. Over that corner, come back. Okay, now just going to dab a little bit on the corners. Now the same deal. I'm going to move it around. I'm probably going to have to tip a little bit more off a corner. So I might go down this way, tip off this bottom corner down here. So you always go the one that seems like it's got the least amount of effects. Over. Come back. Bring it back down. Now definitely not used to a canvas this size. 
probably should have done my normal sized canvas, one that I'm used to. Just make sure you don't drip any paint onto your other demo. So we're stretching it out. Hopefully causing these paints to rub up against each other and cause the pearls to show. I do feel like I've got too much paint still, so I'm going to tip a bit more off this side. There we go. You kind of need the paint to push up against each other in a thinner manner, not too thick. If you've got too much paint on the canvas, the pearls just have a little bit more trouble showing. You can see some appearing, which is good. Okay. Just bring this back to where I want it to be and then stop. Now, I'm going to take my gloves off. Now, I'm going to give it another quick little torch. This isn't a uh, must do this is just something i'm going to do just in case there's any more bubbles in there and sometimes it does actually allow the pearls to pop up a little bit more So one thing I do like about this is I like the Dioxazine purple being a bit darker. It's a little bit more rich um, in colour than the normal purple from the Montmart. But this was done first and you can see there is effects that are appearing and they're changing. This one here, they're starting to come up. So the only way to really see how this is going is to pause the camera, come back in about 10 to 15 minutes and see what has appeared on what one and whether there's a huge difference or not. Um, so far, it doesn't look like there's gonna be a huge amount of difference between them, um, but we will wait and see. So I'm gonna pause it and I'll be back in about 10 to 15. All right, we are back and it has been 15 minutes. So they both have got effects. I cannot really say that I think one has actually, I'm not going to say one's turned out better than the other, because when you do a pour, um, it is kind of random where the paint goes, but they both did bring the similar type of effects. So this one here has got a river of pearls that run through that area, and over through here we've got pearls that are coming up in some of these more solid areas. Same with this. This actually looked very plain and I was really worried I wasn't going to get any effects but look how the pearls have kind of come up all through here. This area here was what was already there that stayed but is, has enlarged. Down here's more pearls and all the way across. So this one has got more effects in it but I think that's just because the, there was more dirty pour um, left on the canvas, 
when this one here, that top part there, that little river back and forth, that was um, the straight point at, at the end of the cup. So you don't always get the pearls in that. So I think they both are actually giving similar effects. It don't really think there's going to be much changes from now. Um, this will probably dry a little bit darker than this one. Only for the simple fact that I think the Dioxazine Purple will dry darker in the long run than the Montmartre. But um, multicolored cells in here. Some of these cells are a little bit larger. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm overall happy with either of them. So now it just comes down to what I have at the time. But I know that if the Montmartre works and the Montmartre gives me quite good effects, I'm going to stick with it because ultimately the price, um, for me at the moment, the price makes a difference because I don't have a lot of money to spend on paints and I probably spend more than I should anyway. I think a lot of us do. <laughs> and I get good results. Good results, it works, so I'm happy to stick with this. Um, but I'm really happy that I did the test because I have been wondering for nearly a year now, I've been wondering what's going to give me better effects. And ultimately, I think they're both giving me the same type of effects. So no need to stress about it anymore. Like it's one thing I can tick and say I don't need to worry or, yeah, overthink about it. So I'm going to bring you down for a close up of both and we'll see what you think. So there we go. This is from my angle. So as you can see, both definitely have effects in there. They both got pearls. This one's got that river of pearls running through. This one's got pearls in different sections. It's it's just the way that the um, when you're tilting. So I think virtually this could have got just as many um, pearls come up in it if I had it tilted a different way. Um, you, you, it's kind of random when it happens. That's why I like this actual painting because you do kind of get random effects that you can't always recreate and you kind of just go, cool, I like that. So let's just come down and have a look. My light is going to irritate us, I think. It's changing the colours. But look at all those cells that have come up or pearls that have come up throughout this. I really like um how these actually turned out i was actually a little bit scared at the beginning um that they were going to be a little bit plain this has got pearls running all the way around the edge of this main um kind of squiggle river river line go out the way light if i turn the light off it gets too dark so i'm trying to shade it but yeah so I really would like to know, what do you guys think? Do you think one has turned out better than the other? Or do you think that really it, they're kind of much and muchness and it's not worth stressing over um, the brand? But I do know that these two do create pearls. Some brands don't. I tried it with um, Araldo Di Polo and I didn't get anything. So um, if you do pick a brand and it's easy to get for yourself, just keep using that. Um, and if people say there's one better out there, give it a try. But if you find you're still getting the same results, stick with what you know. So I'm going to leave it as this. I hope you guys had a great time seeing how this experiment went. And I will see you next time. So comment, like, share the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Just hit the bell and click all. See you next time. Bye.